I would have thought that today, this afternoon, we'd be talking about the Mysterians' problems with consciousness, right? The, the, why? the what, why? You think it's like not even on the table anymore? Define the problem for all. Well, for the problem of qualia, the problem of subjective uh, experience, the, the what it's like to be a bat problem, the things, of course, that Dan right. has spent a lot of time fighting against <laughs> for a long time, and when which we all you appreciate that he's suffer? done the good. Well. No, the, but it obviously it it, it it's like whack a mole. You know, we, we've got you know Nagel <laughs> again giving us this crap, and it's um, being taken seriously all over the place. You'll right use it. now, you use it. You might need to explain, Alex. What yeah, he probably thought I'd say, give the story quickly. Well, it, it's the idea that there are. It, 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 <clears throat> That there is an, uh, a, a what it's like to be uh, conscious that is incapable of being captured by third-person neuroscience. That there is a an aboutness of human thought that is incapable of being uh, realized by input-output neurological systems, and which provides uh, to the mysterians the strongest basis for their rejection of materialism and naturalism. And or, or, or simply to say that, that science could never touch it. Yes. So, but I thought, okay, um, that's an interesting point, because I actually thought through, through that we were going to go at some point there. Um, and my take on Nagel's paper, which I reread recently because of one of my classes. Nagel's, I mean, what it's like? The, what it's like. Yeah, yeah but he's yeah. just written a new book. No, no, yeah, I know. Gone, I know. He's up I know. the stakes. <laughs> I, I think we should, yeah, I think we should bracket that, the new book out because it is, it sounds, I haven't read it. I've read only two or three reviews of it, and it sounds really wacky. But the, so I want to hear what people think about the, the what is it like to be a bad thing. Um, I, I took that the message of that, I know, I'm not saying that this is what Nagel intended, but I took that to say not that the strong implication that is that there's no, there's something somehow on, that science cannot touch or cannot explain or whatever it is about conscious experiences, quality and all that, but simply that if we want to apply the third person scientific analysis to first person experiences, we're making a category mistake. You know. No matter what your, how well, how good your description and accurate your description is of the way the human brain works, uh, you're not going to have that experience unless you are that brain. So we're not, never going to have the experience of being a bat. That doesn't mean we cannot understand how bats work. Is that not sensible? Well, that's not what Nagel. <laughs> no, no, no. That's what I'm saying. saying. But is that not more sensible that one mm -hmm. more people have taken out of Nagel? One problem with Nagel that is extremely frustrating is that a lot of people think that that's a paper that argues that we cannot know what it's like to be a bat. Mm -hmm. If you look closely, you realize he never argues for that. Mm -hmm. He true. assumes that we can never know what it's like to be a bat, and then he argues about what the implications right. of his premise are. Right. Right. And, and that's a huge bit of misdirection right there. But then, okay. there's a, there is a fundamental uh, ambiguity in his paper, which I think I finally got to the bottom of. There's two senses in which you could be making the assumption that, that we cannot imagine what it's like to be a bat. One is we just lack the, the pigments on our palate to imagine it because bats are so different from us. And the other is, oh, we, whether or not we could imagine it, we could never confirm that we've done it successfully. To com compare we could never imagine what the winning lottery number in the t tomorrow is. Well, yeah, you could by accident. You just wouldn't know if you were sure. right till the next day. So there's a question of what, whether it's confirming imagination or whether it's just not being able to render in imagination what it's like to be a bat. I think a lot of people think, because he's talking about bats, that he means the first. Because we don't have echolocation, because, you know, and so forth, we don't have the pigments in our palate. We just can't do it. But in fact, that's not what he means, or at least no, not. he oh, yeah, abandons yes. that. Because I once put it to him point blank on just this point. I said, suppose you had a twin brother who was also a philosopher. Could you imagine what it's like to be him? If it's pigments, he should say, yeah, of course. He said, no. 
Then what the heck is he talking about bats for? Yeah, but he actually says that that you know the problem. You know, I'm just using bats as an example, but it's also true for us. But but then but then notice notice that there's some something like sleight of hand going on. Why does he bother stressing how alien bats are from us? If if he could just as well be talking about an identical twin brother of him, and and of course there's. There's another conflict in that paper, and that is, uh, he goes on and on about bats. Why? Because presumably it's telling us something about what it's like to be a bat. <laughs> and why wouldn't more of the same tell us more and more about what it's like to be a bat? And Richard, of course, if you were here, would chime in that how furious he is at Nagel, because what Nagel took and put in that paper was developed by a well-known British bat scientist during World War II. Yeah. And, well, um, uh, the Kathy Akins and I <coughs> went to the paper called What It's Like to Be a Bat. <laughs> Say, uh-huh. You know, you it's, us. Uh, yes, right. you can do it. it. I mean, the very premise of his, of his paper is just wrong. Lots of Guys, for those of you <laughs> who are not following us on Twitter, somebody just tweeted the following. In honor of move naturalism, here are some bat embryos and what is it like to be a bat by Tamil Nogal? And there is, there is, a, there is a picture of three bat embryos that yeah. this guy has posted. Yeah. That's linked to our discussion. So. <laughs>